Yo, what's poppin' motherfuckers? Welcome back to the channel. It's your boy Nate Ridge, you know how it is, you know how we do. Welcome back to another episode of Dope on Nope. I know it's been a while, sorry, I've been away. I've just got back from Holland working. Because obviously my channel's not monetized at the minute, so I am trying to fit working these videos in and trying to get as much out as possible around actually working full time as well and trying to earn money. Because obviously you know life ain't free, food ain't free, but it's all good. It's all good, baby, baby. It's all good, we look on the positive side, we make the most of the time we've got. And we try and keep progressing, yeah? We try and keep building, that's what we do. So today we're going to be reacting, as you've seen in the title, to KSI's new track, Patience, featuring Youngblood and Polo G. I've heard a few things by Youngblood. I actually did a cover, uh, a little one-minute cover of a Youngblood track on my um, on my Instagram. I've not heard that much of Polo G, so I don't know what to expect from Polo G. But if KSI's other tracks and features, recent features or anything to go off, then we know that it's going to be good. We know he's been getting a lot of big names, a lot of big features in his music. It's just been getting better and better and we're all real proud of him in the UK. So we'll get straight into it without further ado. High hopes. Don't know what to expect. I've not heard the track yet, so let's go. Okay. I love the visuals. The visuals are always good. Ooh. Roscoe again. No patience, I had enough. Spent too much time through Oh! Let me just talk about the instrumental as well, because uh, I've seen a few comments saying that's what you like. like. You like me not just reacting to the music, but you like me breaking down the instrumental as well. This instrumental, just going off what I've heard in the first 20 seconds, is quite different. It sounds quite upbeat. Obviously, it's still electronic sample drums. It's not real acoustic instruments, but so far it's sounding sounding quite different. You know, you've got you've got the full drum kit set up. You've got the cymbals, you've got the hi hats, you've got the snares and the kicks coming in. A little bit of a drum fill, that nice electric bass with a real nice uh, amp effects over the top of it, sounding like a rock bass. Sounding quite different so far from the usual KSI electronic tracks. You know, his recent stuff with digital farm animals and stuff before that. So uh, yeah, I'm quite excited to hear how this turns out. Phase is just not Make the right call oh. Or she'll be gone forever I, need a bit of oh. I love that the, the vocals, the effects on the vocals are sounding amazing right now You know you've got that delay effect um, And you've got a bit of reverb as well A bit of reverb dampening on all the vocals Which is making that huge big sound And um Oh shit And uh, yeah Youngblood's just come in With his real high pitched vocals But also uh, quite strong and quite powerful <laughs> Don't smoke, kids. It's bad for you. I know all the cool guys seem to do it, but just don't do it. Don't do it. It's not worth it. Trust me. You see what I mean about these visuals, or the transitions and everything? It's so smooth. It really builds the full package. Like, it's one thing. It's one thing having a really great song. And having really great audio and good vocalists and good, you know, instrumentation and producers that are working on the track. But it's a whole nother element bringing the cinematic, real, real high quality effects and transitions. And whoever's directed, well, we know it's Roscoe. Roscoe always comes through with the visuals. But yeah, whoever you've got on the visuals, even if it's just you and a cameraman, it's really, really worth it learning to edit the videos yourself. So you can have more of a creative control on the direction your music's going. And it just brings that extra element for the viewers or the, your fan base or your audience, whoever it is. It really entices them a lot more to come and watch the video if, you, if you've got, you know, really nice looking um, visuals over the top of it as well. And a great thumbnail, a real clickbait thumbnail always helps as well. <laughs> oh! Wow! JJ, is that... What? You know, I was expecting JJ to come with his standard, you know, his rapping versus my man singing. I do listen to the What's Good podcast, which is um, obviously Mini Minter, also from the Sidemen, and Randolph, who, you know, has worked a lot with JJ and a lot with the Sidemen. If you know Hesky Time, Hesky Time, that old classic banger of JJ's. Um, Randolph also works on that, so Randolph's from back in the day as well, if you don't know who he is. Yeah, on a recent episode, they were talking about this track. And uh, I was listening to him saying that 
He has been practicing his singing and Talia, Mini Minter's girlfriend, was saying she's heard JJ over her JJ while she's been stopping at their apartment, practicing his vocals and practicing his singing. But I didn't actually realise he was going to be, you know, bringing out a, a, such a high profile song like this and really switching up his style. It's something that JJ really does well, really changes things up from track to track. It might be going real lyrical rapping on one one track and then turn up pump rapping on on the next track and then now he now he's singing man there's there's just no limits to what my guy can do no limits Seen a lot of shit to make me hate. I don't wanna hide it till we see late Feels like I'm gonna break Wow They look like they're having fun with this track as well, don't they? It's a real upbeat, happy track. The lyrics might be a bit down. I'm sorry that I'm not actually going as in-depth with the lyrics themselves. But this track, you know, um, it feels more about the vibe than it does the actual lyrical content. For the lyrical breakdown, they will be coming in more of the harder tracks when you listen to my Lil Dicky, Eminem stuff. For KSI, I like to keep it more about the vibe, more about the whole package, the visuals and the audio and just the, the presentation on the whole track. You know, the featured artist that he's getting on. Yeah, I'm real impressed with this so far. Completely different to the rest of the stuff he's released and see how many different artists he's bringing into this YouTube domain now. He loves that, doesn't he? He loves that either falling or slowly sinking. If you look at his, um, what was the tune he had with Rick Ross and the baby and the, uh, is it the baby or a little bit? I don't fucking know. He, he had the uh, falling from the clouds, and uh, then on the track with Craig David, he was falling down the fucking, uh, he, well, he jumping into the snow with the avalanche. So he, he really does love that kind of cinematic shot. You get on me, tables turning. Wow, okay, so I don't know who the band is, but I was pretty sure I might have been wrong here. I'm totally down to be corrected if any of you guys know better in the comments. Let me know, let any feedback, correct me if I'm wrong, correct me if you have a different interpretation or a different feeling about a track or whatever, let me know. Anything like that, I'm, I'm totally down to have a chat in the comments. Yeah, but to the point is it might be real either session musicians playing instruments, real acoustic instruments, or they might just be playing them instruments for you know the video sake for the visual aspect i don't know i might need to have a few listens again but i was i'm still pretty sure that it is sampled instruments i'm pretty sure it's not live recording but i might be wrong the drums and stuff like that one, <laughs> one thing's for sure is he's not playing i know it's slowed down and everything but he is not playing the drums that are going on right now so <laughs> He comes with the maddest outfits as well, doesn't he? Like, he's definitely got a sense of style. Like, I, you know, if someone gave me that jacket and said, look, just wear this out in public, we'll take a few photos of you, I, I would be a little hesitant, you know what I mean? But that's the one thing about JJ, he's got fucking balls, man. He'll just try something, and if it doesn't work, he'll try something else. He's not afraid to try something, and I think something, that's something that you definitely need to have. You need to have that confidence in yourself, and you need to have that willingness to try new things and try different alleys to make it in this kind of entertainment business. So you got to give him props for that as well, and respect for, you know, having the balls to go out and do something different. Damn.
Damn, okay. First off about the track, I love the track. It's, you know, upbeat, quite different. It really, really suits Youngblood's vocal style and his singing style. I didn't really, you know, Polo G had that first verse, but then we didn't really see much of him after that, so I can't really comment on that, and I didn't really pay much mind to it, um, which is probably my bad. It's something I probably need to work on is uh, picking up on the small features and stuff like that and, and really listening harder to be able to break them down but in terms of the rest of the track KSI's verse really really surprised me the fact that he's singing really really surprised me I didn't expect that at all and, and, and what surprised me even more is how good it sounded like yeah it might have been drenched in auto-tune with a bit of reverb and some other effects maybe a bit of chorus and whatever on top but, you know, it, it, it didn't sound bad. It sounded really, really good. It's definitely a big improvement from the singing that he did on his album as well. Uh, from On Dissimulation. Because I know he did a few little bits here and there. And he did that one track. I, I forget the name of it now. But uh, he did do one track where he was mostly singing. And I wasn't as impressed by that as I am with this. This really, really fit the track when he broke that down. And obviously, the Youngblood killed it again. His energy on the track, his energy in the visuals was there. The two lads at towards the end really seemed like they were having a great time. And that's what you want to see, you can't ask for any more than that, they had a great audio, great visuals, put it together in a good package and had fun with it, that's all you can ask with, especially YouTube music as well, I know the line's kind of getting a bit more blurry between the mainstream entertainment side and, and YouTube music and that is in part down to KSI, you know, the features that he's doing with Craig David, with Rev Rick Ross, with um, all these other artists, Sam Marie and people like that. He's really just, just breaking down all these barriers and all the stigma that was there for these YouTube artists, so... If you are a YouTube musician, YouTube content creator, I would really, really push you towards going and checking out JJ if you've not so far because he's really, really changing the game and leading the way for you guys. Well, for us, really. He's, he's my big inspiration as well. So, in terms of dope or nope, after that, I, I mean, it's got to be dope. Every time it seems that JJ brings a track out, it is just so different from the last track. It, it's still got his kind of sound and his kind of vibe with it. But it's just so different and the visuals have killed it every time he seems to have finally got his team together whether it's con recording the videos or roscoe directing the videos and editing it or whether it's his team in la he always seems to have it down and he seems to get things out really really well his, his productivity and his efficiency with getting his tracks and his music out and then promoting them it's just great he's really someone to go and learn off if you are starting out and thinking about making a career in this business but yeah it's gotta be dope for me gotta be dope that's, that's exactly what you want from a track, it's fun, upbeat, bouncy. Might not really have the lyrical side to it, but like you say, I wasn't really watching out for that in this run through. It's not as if it's, you know, you're not listening to the Wu-Tang Clan or Slaughterhouse or D12 or people like that. You're not really listening for the lyrics when you're listening to a KSI track. But as always, guys, thank you so much for tuning in. I really appreciate it. Uh, as I was saying in my other videos, I have dropped my Waterview Park EP. It is out on Spotify, Apple, whatever. It's on all streaming sites if you want to go and check it out. I would really appreciate that over there and let me know what you think about it. We're also on TikTok now, finally. The old head is on TikTok, finally. We started uploading there, so I'll leave a, a link down below and a picture up here. So head over, really appreciate it if you check out a few of my posts on there and leave us a follow or a like or whatever. As always, guys, until next time, stay safe. I love you all. Peace. You know I used to think that this life was about faith Ripping out doubt, turning frowns like about face Now I'm trying to hide from the clouds and the dark shapes I'm making loud sounds out of my mouth like you shout rape When she came along I thought an angel had found me I dropped to my knees, bowed my head in a loud praise She lifted up my chin saying baby you're now safe Give it to the devil and you won't go without pain I looked into her eyes that were blacker than night